Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Please, is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Farther troll. Meow. 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 Then it's going to be one in the wind column. One for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy. There you go. You're going to have to say you're sorry or you're going to jail. I promise. <laughs> they refused to help me while I was in Logan County Jail and paid my bond. I think you need help in this way. You need to be what kind of help? Put in a straight jacket and take it to a loony bin. I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. But I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Today's video is a great one, and let's just say karma is strong in this video. It's a two-part video. The first part is Drek D actually admitting to uh, committing a possible felony by harboring a fugitive. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you who the fugitive is, but then f the second part of the video is from Frauder Troll, where he actually calls the police department where Denver Metro Audits lives to report him for harboring a fugitive. Oh, you cannot make this up. It is great. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alert, alert, idiot detected. Alert, alert, idiot detected. Bro, or do you want me to leave that a secret? What, the documentary yeah. type stuff? No, I've, we've talked about okay. it. Okay, so yeah. what, what they're doing, what Direct D is doing is, it's basically what he's doing is a documentary on me, and I feel... You know, privileged to be the first one that he's doing this on. I'm not going to lie here. I really don't think it's an honor or a privilege to have a criminal do a documentary on another criminal. And that documentary that he's doing on Denver Metro Audits, that's going to be as big as uh, Chili's uh, biography that he writes about his prison time. It's going to be a total flop. And basically, he is kind of behind the scenes. So as you guys know, Direct D has warrants. Ain't nobody got time for that. So he's not really trying to get in the mix, guys, because mm -hmm. he gets arrested. Now Now he's in Colorado, and he's sitting there for 30 days waiting for them to extradite him, whether they do or don't. That's the situation. So that's why he hasn't been working. I don't understand this. You have warrants out for your arrest because now you're a fugitive from justice because you don't want to get arrested. Why are you traveling to Denver to uh, do frauds? Why? I just absolutely don't understand that. I understand criminals are so stupid. As you can see, three idiots here. I don't know if the one on the right is a criminal, but most likely he probably is because criminals hang out with criminals. That much on the scene, but as you guys see, he published a short. Go check it out. It's kind of a teaser. He does, and if a lot of these videos get in the mix, and trust me, when you see these videos, he is actually in the mix a lot because... Uh, <laughs> There's some crazy stuff that I'll happened on these I'll videos. What I have a question about is if he's in the mix and he's always directly in the mix, as you say, and the police are involved, where's the police? Why aren't they doing their job and making sure he has no warrants? And if, if they find that he has not a warrant for his arrest, why don't they arrest him? But you know what? I forgot this is Colorado, just like California. Phoenix is crazy, but Colorado is also another level, man. Yeah. So far, I mean, well, I'll say Denver because we have, we've only been to Denver. We haven't really a stretch right. anywhere else in Colorado. So the Denver metro area, every single spot. Well, I guess in Denver itself, they didn't really give us any issues, only that they weren't using their blinkers. Like, I don't think, a, a, well, I think one or two cops used the blinker here and there but the i mean one after another we kept watching them make turn after turn rolling through stop signs not using their blinkers we were just monitoring them and they didn't seem to care we were flashing them with flashlights they were you know i don't know who this bum is but look at him long hair long beard look at the clothes he looks like he just got out of a cardboard box from underneath the bridge 
And why is he hanging around these two other idiots? You know, do better in life, man. Do better. And listen to him justify shining lights in the, in the police car at the police officers. You know what could happen? That could temporarily blind people, which could end up them getting in an accident, possibly hurting or killing somebody or themselves. But it's okay with you. And the problem is these laws, they need to get stricter for the people like that. If you get injured because somebody doing stupid, something stupid like this, they need to be held accountable. But unfortunately, with some of the DAs and judges that we have anymore, nothing happens. They get released, and I'm not going to go into it. I just, it just it boils my blood. It really does. Hmm. They know there's nothing, you know, we're not really doing anything. It's just the light. Oh, yeah, we're not doing anything wrong. Tell that to the pilots that have to deal with idiots shining green lasers and other kinds of lasers at, in their cockpit trying to blind them and cause an airplane crash. Tell that to them. See what you, what they say about that. Last night, a dozen pilots in New Jersey were momentarily blinded by lasers of a type that is often used as a gun sight and sold online for upwards of $100. Here's Chris Van Cleve. Tower American uh, 966, we just got a laser shot about her 8 o'clock. The repeated reports of a laser pointer striking planes over New Jersey prompted air traffic controllers to change the landing pattern at Newark Liberty Airport. I use caution for a green laser in that vicinity. We suffered flash blindness after imaging and then retinal burning that continued on for a while. Now you just saw that little clip that I put in there. I understand flashlights and lasers are two different things, but they still do the same thing. They temporarily blind you for momentarily. And listen to that guy talk about being blinded by laser. Retinal burning. Is that something you want to experience? No, I don't want to experience it either. Like as if he, like he said, it's just as if a car drove swinging around making a U-turn and some lights flashed him. What are you, what are you saying right now? How did that hurt you or right. hinder you in any way? You know? Yeah. You were literally too stupid to insult. Denver, they didn't. Denver understood that. They did. They didn't like it. Right. And they could, one of them, a couple of them gave us some attitude. We had one cop that was cool and recognized you. He did. But, you know, but the difference between that reaction, just being annoyed by it, but ignoring you and these guys, man. Yeah. Sheridan. Sheridan is something else, probably, guys. Sheridan so far, from my limited experience being here, is, is the worst out of these local areas, mm -hmm. it seems like. I just did a Google search on the population of Sheridan. There's pr roughly about 6,500, 7,000 people that live there. So out of 7,000 people, one to three people have a problem with Sheridan. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's the other way around. I think the, the problem is the one to three people that we're looking at right now in the picture that are the problem. Now here's the second part of the video with Fraud or Troll, and it is absolutely gold. Enjoy. Hey, go with police, Christina. Yes, hi, Christina. My name is Josh. I'm recording the phone call. I just wanted to give you guys a tip. Um, there is a YouTuber that was doing a live stream, and he's harboring a fugitive out of Arizona. Joe, it's Peter. Two things. First of all, when I was over at your house the other day, I forgot to tell you how much I liked the rearrangement you and Barney did with your living room furniture. Second of all, come outside! There's an escaped convict running across the street! Um, so I just wanted to give you guys the info. Where is this, where is this happening at? Um, I don't have his address, but I can give you his name. He's a known criminal, so I'm sure you guys will know his address. He was live-streaming from home. Oh, I'm pretty sure as soon as you mention the name Denver Metro Audits, Chrissy Boy... Oh, I'm pretty sure they're going to start cringing. They're, they probably have nightmares of this fool. Is he, was he live streaming from Inglewood? Uh, I, I don't know if he lives in Inglewood. I know he comes quite often to bother you guys. <laughs> I, he might live in Inglewood or Colorado Springs. Like, I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, you guys have his address. Okay. I, I don't, so. Okay, right. and how do you know he's harboring a fugitive? Because the fugitive was there, and he says, I know um, his name. The fugitive is called Christopher Ruff, and he's out, out of Arizona. He has multiple warrants for not turning himself in to do his sentences. Stop breaking the law, asshole! 
Now, this is my way of thinking, and unfortunately, I know people don't think the same way, but if you had warrants for your arrest, you had charges, wouldn't you rather get that all that settled and scored away and put put in the past? Wouldn't you rather have that instead of having that hanging over your head every day for the rest of your life until you get caught? You know, I mean, what time were you doing? I mean, I don't know what the charges were, and I don't know what the time was going to be in prison that you were going to spend. But if it's two months, three months, wouldn't you rather get that done? That way it's in the past. And um, Christopher Ruff was there and says, I have multiple warrants. Uh, if they catch me, I'm going to jail for 30 days. So wait a minute. You can't do 30 days in jail just to get rid of the sentence so it's not hanging over your head? Are you kidding me? You really can't do that? I mean, come on, look at Chili. He's not even there a week and he can't even handle it. And judging you by the looks of you, you've probably been in and out of jail a lot of times. So I would think you'd be able to handle a 30-day sentence. And then Christopher Cordova was, is the YouTuber that was having the live stream. And Christopher Cordova says, well, Christopher or Directy has warrants. So if they catch him, he's going to jail for 30 days. So he's knowingly harboring a fugitive out of Arizona. So I just wanted to give you guys the info if there's something to do with it or you guys can go from there. A little longer than a few minutes later. And what is the YouTuber's name? Uh, so his name is Christopher John Cordova. He's approximately 40 years old. And you guys should have him in your database. He was just found guilty of um, a couple of federal... Uh, misdemeanors recording in a social security office so you guys should find him very easily now these fools they'll never be able to get a job so they resort to going back to youtube because their criminal records do not allow them and most of the criminals that you see on youtube doing these first amendment fraud it's their sex offenders stalkers druggies and just to name a few of them and it's just so ridiculous that YouTube allows this stuff. I really, really wish YouTube would get their head out of their you-know-what and start taking these fools down, their channels down. Don't let them monetize. See how fast they post videos then. We know they will stop doing what they're doing if they do not get any money. And the other issue, too, is their idiotic followers that keep donating to these fools. So it's an incentive just to keep committing crimes over and over again. So basically what their followers and their subscribers do that keep donating money to them, it's like when somebody keeps enabling a drug addict to keep doing drugs. They're not helping the problem. They're creating more of a problem. Uh, his, uh, and what's the other guy's name? Yeah, uh, well, let me just give you the YouTube channel because the video is still there as evidence. So it's, the YouTube channel okay. is Denver Metro Audits. A few moments later. Okay, and the other guy's name, what is his name? Christopher D. Ruff. So R-U-F-F -F is his last name, and he's a fugitive out of Arizona. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Josh. Okay. And Josh, what's your last name? Uh, I'm not going to give it out. Now, I totally and completely understand why he doesn't want to give his full name out and his phone number out because once he gives it out it's public record unfortunately fools like Dreg D, Goat Boy, all these frauditors that are out there you know what they're gonna do they're gonna FOIA the the phone call get the name get the phone number put it all over YouTube so their uh, the followers and subscribers can harass them make threats, all, all that kind of stupidity, which is really sad. It really is. So, yeah, if you need any more info, Alrighty, you can call I me. All right. Okay, I have that up, and we'll see what we can do about it, okay? All right, thank you very much. Well, that's it for the show. I really, truly hope that the police follow up and they go pay him a visit and arrest both of them. But unfortunately, I have a feeling in my gut that nothing was done. They took the report and that was it. But anyways, I hope you enjoy the show. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you.
Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. It doesn't only apply for the Second Amendment. It also applies for the First Amendment. I have constitutional carry for this camera. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Oh, man. I cannot handle this no more. <laughs> this is bull. Yo, I can't even take it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, this is... I can't even handle it no more. So the time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? As the walk of shame, you need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, please don't make me